this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this episode, I am going to be joined by... Lieber. Hel hello, Lieb. R wrong side of the room, Lieber. Wrong side of the room. Come on, we've, we've practiced this, Lieber. We do it every single morning. Let's try that again. Today, I'm going to be joined by Lieber. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, Lieber. It doesn't matter which way you enter my room, as long as you enter my room, because when you enter my room, that's normally when you are bringing me breakfast. And of course, my breakfast is going to be a piece of pork chop, a pickaxe, a shovel, a cake. Of course, it's going to be a cake. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, fantastic. Very, very, very tasty. Right then, let's not waste any time and let's go and head straight over to the, the Love Garden uh, and then I can let you know uh, who it is that I'm going to be adding to it today. And the person I am adding to it today is... Uh, Demelza. And that is because she made these uh, puppets out of paper bags. And I would think it's really cool when uh, people uh, get something that people would normally throw away and uh, do something really cool with them. So you can see they made a, uh, a Stampy Cat uh, puppet uh, as well as uh, one of my dogs as well. So I wanted to say uh, thank you very much and welcome to my love garden. And um, uh, Lee Bear, you... You seem to um, you seem to have a, a little a little thing on your on your face. Uh, just right on the on the front of your face, there's a little uh, a little something that you've got you've got stuck there. Um, you seem to have a pumpkin on your head, Lee Bear. Um, there we go. You, you got it. You got it. You, you wiped it off. Now all good. <laughs> right then, it's time for the race to the doghouse. And uh, today, uh, the race to the the doghouse is going to be um a little bit different. Uh, tell you what, Lee Bear, let, let's not start there. You come follow me. I have a um I have a little bit of a, a surprise for you. Oh, there's pumpkins all over the place around here. <laughs> I have a little surprise for you uh, for how we're going to be racing to the, the doghouse. So even though the doghouse is right there, we are not going to be racing straight into it. We are going to be racing around my entire lovely world, uh, doing a, a bunch of different uh, challenges and uh, ways of, uh, of uh, transporting ourselves. And uh, yeah, we're basically going to end up uh, by going into the, the doghouse. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because this is going to be the grand finale of our races uh, to the, uh, the doghouse. We've been racing to the doghouse for a little while, and uh, this is going to be the final one. So this uh, is going to be uh, the, yeah, as I said, the final one. So whoever wins is going to be going down in the, the history books as the final winner of the race to the the doghouse so the stakes are very high and we have pigs so <laughs> this is the uh, the starting line here uh, so we need to uh, jump into the the pig pen if i do this whoop uh, we can uh, get in easily without the the pigs escaping and uh, the first start of the race is going to be on the pig so uh, to to ride the pigs we're going to need some carrots on sticks uh, there's a, a couple for you here lee bear uh, i'll give you a few just in case uh, uh, one of the pigs eats uh, all of the the carrot and uh, let's not waste any time let's uh, uh let's go and uh, start the final ever race to the the doghouse and we can begin in three two one go 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 right if i pull that lever that is going to be starting the race and whoa what a fast explosive start we've had to the the race <laughs> now why are the why are the pigs going so ridiculously slow <laughs> anyway you can see that i've um I uh, built these uh, uh, these kind of little walls uh, which have arrows on. So you see the uh, the white arrows? Uh, they basically point us uh, in what direction uh, we need to go. Uh, so then that way, uh, we shouldn't uh, get at all lost. And uh, we're finally uh, starting to, to build up some speed now. We're going to go very fast. So uh, it's kind of good doing this uh, race uh, because it also gives us a chance uh, to look around my, my lovely world. We're basically racing uh, all over my town here. And then later on, we're going to go and race over the, the fun land as well. And uh, all of the, the places in between. So it's a good chance... Uh, to have a, a nice look around my lovely world. But come on, pig. You were going so fast a second ago. Why is Lee Bear's pig going a, a little bit faster? Oh, here we go. Now I'm getting some speed up. Excuse me, Lee Bear. Taking him over on the outside lane. And whoa, look how fast I'm going now. <laughs> look at my little pig run. There we go. I was finally uh, able to, to overtake Lee Bear. So uh, this is the um uh, the final stretch uh, that we're going to be doing on the, the pigs. Uh, we're not going to be riding the, the pigs the entire race. We're going to start off on them. And then we're going to do some running and some jumping. We're going to ride some boats and uh, uh, all sorts of uh, other things uh, that you're going to go and see uh, throughout this race. And oh no, Lee Bear's overtaking me again. Oh no, looks like his pig's going faster. Come on, pig, fast as you can. Come on, look, there's a carrot right there. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter because now uh, we need to park them inside of the, the pen and uh, onto the, the next area, which is uh, up here. We've got to go and uh, climb up these ladders. 
And uh, now uh, we've got to go and uh, jump uh, on top of my rooftops. And uh, I came up with this idea uh, because a lot of the time uh, when I've uh, just finished recording or I'm just playing around in my lovely world, uh, I end up jumping across uh, all of the uh, the rooftops. And I always have so much fun jumping across uh, all of the, the top of them. Uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of it inside of this race. But that's uh, over now. Uh, we now head to, uh, have to head this way. And this is the swimming pool. Uh, we need to go here and uh, jump into the water. <laughs> I didn't do it quite as uh, elegantly as Lee Bear did. And uh, now we have the uh, the big swim. Uh, we need to go and swim uh, to the, the end of this uh, very thin and uh, very long swimming pool. And uh, then we're going to be heading back into the water, but not swimming. This time riding boats. And oh no, I'm going really slow. Oh no, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Come on, I need to start sprinting and swimming. There we go. I was able to still just about stay ahead. It's very, very close though, considering uh, how long we've been racing for. It's uh, pretty close uh, between the, the both of us. Right, uh, let's go and grab some boats. I'm going to go and grab uh, a few of these, uh, just because boats have a little bit of a tendency to, to break. They're uh, uh, not the uh, the most strong uh, way to, to travel. <laughs> they are slightly fragile. And here we go. Now racing across the uh, across the water. Uh, Lee Bear's uh, uh, getting a little bit behind now, but uh, the uh, the boat race uh, isn't too long and uh, when the, the water gets shallow like it's doing up about here this is when the boat normally breaks so please don't break please don't break there we go my boat did not break but did Lee's oh Lee's did Lee's boat broke he needs to go now and uh, put down another boat this is uh, very good for me this should hopefully uh, give me a, a good chance uh, to get a, a bit of a lead as we now go and head uh, to the, the fun land you can see the um, uh, the uh, the castle crumble game and oh speaking of crumbling there, there goes my boat as well <laughs> right I need to go and put a uh, a new spare boat back down, jump back in, and now go and uh, carry on the race. So yeah, I was saying uh, that that was the, the castle, and whoa, why did I go all the way back here? Look, I got teleported really far back, and Lee Bear, look, his boat broke again. He is now falling really far behind, but what's my boat doing? It's going the wrong, I'm pointing this direction. <laughs> I need to stop switching the, the view, uh, so I can keep heading in the, the same direction. I should probably uh, have some food as well, but we have now got uh, to the, the next part of the race, and there are some mine carts here, but we're not going to be riding in them. Uh, we're actually uh, going to be pushing them so I want to be very careful to try and only push one uh, because otherwise I'm going to be helping out Lee Bear and that is not the uh, the aim of the game and uh, once I get these uh, to the end, uh, they're going to go and uh, dispense an item uh, which is going to help us uh, with the uh, the next part of the, the race. But first things first, I need to go and try and get it over some of these obstacles, over these little hills here. And there we go. I got it down on the, the other side. And uh, then there's uh, a few bigger hills a little bit later on. So let's just try and keep pushing it. Let's try and get some momentum and push it over. Oh, no, where's it gone? Oh, it's gone back. It's gone back the other direction. Right. If I go in third person, uh, then I can kind of see where the, the mine cart is. There we go. I was able to, to get it over this time. And uh, now it's time for the, the big hill. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And yay! <laughs> I was able to, to get it over. And uh, now there's just uh, one little dip and then uh, a corner. And then we're on to the, the next part of the of the race. Oh, oh no, it, it got stuck. It got stuck down in this little dip. Let's go and try and uh, push it back and get it out the other side. Come on, is it out? Yes, it is out. Now round the corner and yay, there's a cake here. Oh, I'm not hungry though. <laughs> right, this was the, the item I was talking about. This is the ender pearl section. So basically, I need to try and use ender pearls uh, to go and try and climb over the top of some of these games. So I want to be really careful here uh, just to make sure I can actually land on top of it. I think that looks good. That looks good. And there we go. I've landed on the, the top. So there's uh, two chests here uh, which each have uh, some more ender pearls in. Uh, but there's only uh, the exact right amount of ender pearls. Uh, so I want to make sure uh, that I'm doing this very carefully. I do not want to uh, miss any of these ender pearls because otherwise I'm going to fall behind big time. Right. Uh, the next one is over here on top of Googly's Manor. Uh, uh, big throw and there we go that was good and now this is the uh, the toughest one uh, out of all of them I need to go and try and land on top of the helter skelter so uh, wish me luck let's try and aim up big jump and throw and yes I was able to, to do it I have got uh, really hurt though so let's go and yum 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 uh, eat a little bit of cake and uh, now I need uh, to wait here for a bit uh, until my health goes up. I do have one more ender pearl, uh, which I need to eventually uh, use to go and get down on that balcony. But while I wait uh, for my health to go up, let's have a look at... Oh, oh no, Lee Bear's right behind me. Lee Bear has caught up with me already. Let's go and yum, 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 eat a little bit of this cake and then go uh, and head straight back down. I think my health uh, should hopefully be high enough as long as I land directly on the, the balcony. Come on, good throw, good throw. There we go. That was perfect. So hopefully Lee uh, has to wait for uh, his health uh, to go up uh, a little bit more uh, before he can head up as well. 
but I do not want to wait because this is a race. Let's go, 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 go. And so I'm going to go and head out this doorway here. And uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, go and charge uh, through this little tunnel down here. But there's a, uh, a bit of a, a surprise that you'll see as we uh, as we enter the, the, the tunnel. And oh no, Lee Bear has exactly caught up with me now. We're in the exact same place and we now have swiftness potions. <laughs> so we need to go and charge through this uh, tunnel. And uh, now we have to go back and forth. This is kind of a, a little bit like a queue. You know when you're queuing and you're going back and forth. Uh, but rather than standing still and waiting, we are charging through at top speed. <laughs> so we need to go and keep going around here as fast as we can. I think that uh, when we go around the, the corners here, if I stay on the inside, I might have a chance to go and uh, overtake it. Oh, there we go. He stopped sprinting for a sec. This is my chance to go and try and catch up and uh, be able to, to overtake him. He is, though, uh, just staying just about ahead of me. And, oh, no, I stopped sprinting then. This isn't good. Keep going, keep going. It is so close. Oh, he's got cake. He's got cake. That's not fair. He's trying to tempt me. <laughs> he's trying to tempt me with cake. You know, we uh, did the, the carrots on sticks uh, earlier on to, to tempt the uh, the pigs. Uh, he's trying to do the same with me with a cake on a stick <laughs> to try and make me go the, the wrong way. And speaking of cakes, uh, there's one actually sitting right down here. So let me just, uh, yum, 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 yum. don't mind if I do. And right now we have to dig. I'm going to get my shovel and uh, my pickaxe out and uh, we need to go and uh, try and dig our way through this tunnel. So this first one uh, is going to, to be made out of dirt and uh, luckily with a, uh, a diamond uh, pickaxe, uh, so uh, diamond shovel, sorry, uh, it's actually uh, pretty quick uh, to be able to, to get through to the, the other side. It is very dark though. There we go. I was able to, to get through and oh no, it looks like Lee Bear's already digging his way through the, the next tunnel. So this one uh, is uh, is cobblestone. So this one's uh, a little bit harder to, to get through and then the third and final tunnel is a mixture of both both dirt and cobblestone so we need to uh, to keep uh, quickly switching uh, between which tool we're using uh, to get through as fast as we can so come on please get through the tunnel go on quickly 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 I think Lee Bear's already going through the next one. Oh, I was able to actually catch up with him a little bit there uh, he was uh, way ahead of me uh, but I was able to, to catch up with him uh, a little bit uh, so let's now go and uh, try and switch through as fast as we can and uh, see if we can go and uh, get through this entire place I think uh, the way I did it then it uh, was a, a pretty good way to do it. It's just so dark, it's kind of uh, harder to see which uh, material it is unbreaking. If I just keep switching uh, between the two, I should be able to get through. And there we go. I got out the, the other side. Oh, no, Lee Bear's ahead of me, though. No, he's leaving uh, cakes uh, behind him as we as we run. <laughs> and uh, now we need to go and head up here, uh, back into town. And this is the part I have been dreading the entire time. As you can see, we have to do some parkour. We're doing some jumpy jumps uh, to try and go and head over to where the lighthouse is. So let me just go, yum, uh, fill up my belly. And uh, let's go and jump. Luckily, uh, it is over water, as if I do fall down, uh, then I'll just be in the water and I won't get hurt. Uh, but yeah, it would uh, slow me down quite a lot. So let's try and do this carefully. I do not want to fall in. And oh, Lee Bear did it perfectly, but he has some googlies. Oh no, I fell in. I fell in. Oh, he's knocking the googlies into the water and that's where I fell into. <laughs> All right, let's go and try and charge up to the, the top of the, the lighthouse. We're starting uh, to get very close to being back to the, the doghouse. So this is where it all matters. So let's go and uh, charge up these ladders. I'm going to go and do the, the same as Lee and I uh, have a little bit of uh, uh, something to eat as I climb up. Hello Lee! <laughs> I can't believe how close this race has been the entire time. Right, uh, even though we've just gone and head straight up to the uh, the top of the lighthouse, uh, we now I need to go and head straight back down again. We land in the, the water and we're off. And now uh, we need to go. Oh, I got shot in the back. Well, that actually helped me. I got boosted forward by the, the skeleton and it helped me catch up with Lee Bear. We are now on to the final stretch. There's just one straight line uh, from here to the, the doghouse and then the first person in is going to be the winner. Oh no, but there's a creeper. There's a creeper on the course. Lee Bear, we need to take out the creeper. Don't let it blow up. Don't let it blow up. Oh no, the creeper blew up. We can't stop running now though. Oh no, there's lava down there. This is getting dangerous, right? We've got to run this way. And then the first one into the doghouse is going to be the winner. I can't believe how close this is. Let's open the door and let's go and charge in and across the finish line. Woo! I won! <laughs> I was able to win uh, to win the doghouse race. That was intense. That could have not been any closer. <laughs> oh dear. When I got to the final stretch and I saw the creeper there, I just got absolutely terrified. But because I got it first, I get to decide which dog I want to join me uh, on this episode. And I am going to choose... I'm going to choose a Luna. And there's a reason I'm going to go and choose Luna, and that's because I am taking her uh, somewhere very special. So Luna... Uh, do you want to stand up and follow me? Uh, Lee Bear, you can do the same. I actually kind of want to see how much um, how much damage was done outside as well. Are we are we okay for Googlies? Oh, 
Hello, Mittens. <laughs> Did you come down and then, then say hello? Uh, I guess you can stay there and guard the, the doghouse from uh, any more creepers. And I'm a little bit scared. Whoa. Okay, looks like we went straight through uh, down to my lava room. Uh, Luna, sit down here for a second. Uh, Mittens, you can come and sit down as well. Uh, let's go and um, let's clog this up a little bit. Uh, just because there's a lot of wood around here. And wood and lava do not mix. I'd uh, hate to, to come back and uh, see uh, a huge fire. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go and... Um, uh, fill all of this in and then hopefully this area is going to be a little bit safer and then we are going to go and head over to uh, my um to my fun land and uh, actually mittens you can come and join us because why not uh, yeah the reason we're going to head over to my fun land uh, is because there's a game i built a very long time ago which is called the top poor assault course and it's basically a mini game uh, just for my dogs and it's basically a uh, assault course uh, where they need to, to go and make their way through and i've been doing time trials i've been uh, recording uh, how fast all of my dogs uh, are able to to get through uh, but i haven't uh, yet done all of my dogs i think luna and i think cory are the uh, only two dogs uh, that haven't gone through yet so i am going to go and uh, time cory and uh, see how fast he can go in the, the future. Uh, but today, uh, Zena's uh, Luna is my newest dog. I think it's uh, her turn uh, to go and go through. So this is the uh, the top poor assault course. Uh, it seems to be googly free. <laughs> and so yeah, basically, uh, Luna has to go and make her way through this uh, course. Then I'm going to put a, a sign up on the end and uh, mark how far she did it. But firstly, I need uh, to turn it on. If I go and uh, pull this here... Uh, you'll see that we now have a bunch of uh, flaps and things opening uh, just to make it uh, a little bit harder. Uh, but yeah, let's not waste any more time. Uh, sadly, this is a, uh, a dog-only game mitten, so <laughs> you can sit down there. Uh, but Luna, uh, you can go and stand over here. All right, I'm going to start the timer in a three... Two, one, go, go, go. Right, the uh, the timer has started. I've placed a pumpkin randomly <laughs> and uh, we need her to, to begin. So Luna uh, needs to first follow me by going over the uh, the big hill. Uh, she then needs to go through the, the water. Uh, we now go round the corner and I need to get her through these big colourful pillars. Come on, Luna, don't lose focus. Are you here? Luna, can you see me? There we go. Now I need to go and try and get her to go through the, the tunnel and I need to take out the, the slime as well. Luna! Luna, where is she? Is she in the tunnel? Here we go. She's coming through. There we go. She got through the tunnel. This might actually be a really good time. It's just the, the home stretch. She's almost running in front of me here. Oh, no, no, Luna, come back. Don't lose interest now, Luna. Come on. Across the finish line. And she did it in 38 seconds. And uh, I believe... That is a joint record. Oh no, Flippy did slightly better, but that was still very good. Uh, she did the, the same as uh, as Sherbet did. So let me go and uh, make uh, a sign, and uh, let me go and uh, put that up uh, just to mark uh, how well she did. Uh, not bad, not bad as well for a, a dog, which is still technically uh, a puppy. So let's go and uh, write down Luna, and I can do 38 seconds, Luna... Uh, and then underneath that, I'm going to write 38 seconds. And tell you what, seeing as Mittens came all the way over here, I think she wanted to have a go as well. So even though it was designed for my dogs, uh, let's see uh, how well uh, Mittens can do uh, going around the, the same assault course. So Luna, uh, you can go and uh, sit down there. And Mittens, it is now your turn. So let me just go uh, to the uh, the front of the, the course. Oh, I think I've got to go the whole way through it. Here, actually, I can go and uh, jump over the, the fence here. So let's go and uh, shut this again and uh, get rid of this, uh, this pumpkin, because that is not supposed to be here. <laughs> And Mittens, uh, it is now your go. Oh, Lee, behind you. Lee, 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 turn around. Ooh, that was close. That was close. The creepers are coming out in full force tonight. <laughs> Tell you what, Lee, your job is uh, keeping guard as we go and uh, uh, go through the, uh, the race course again. <laughs> right, Mittens, you can uh, stand up and uh, follow me. And uh, your race can begin in three... Two, one, go, go, go. Right, the, the time has started. Let's see uh, if Mittens can do as well as the, the dog's done. Seeing as she's the uh, the only other cat in my lovely world apart from me, uh, I feel like she has uh, something to prove and is going to try really hard uh, to get a, a good time. Oh no, she's struggling in the water. That's the problem. Cats don't like water as much as dogs. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think she's having a little bit of trouble getting through. Come on, Mittens, you're nearly there. You're nearly out on the, the other side. Let me go and uh, give her a, a little bit of a, a nudge. There we go, Mittens. Come on, you're so close to the end. Edge, and now we can go and uh, try and get through the the big colorful pillars has mittens made her way out to the the other side or is she still in the water oh no she's still in the water <laughs> this isn't a game mittens well i guess i guess it is a game <laughs> right come on mittens come on you can make your way out the water there we go she is out of the water and uh, now i had to go and make her way through the uh, the colorful pillars come on mittens follow me there we go luckily because she's smaller it should be much easier for her uh, to go and uh, try and make her way through the the tunnel so there she uh, she goes i just about saw her 
her tail going through. And uh, now it's just the, the final stretch. Uh, she needs to go and try and make her way through here. Come on, Mittens. Come on, this is a race. Stop dawdling. <laughs> I think she's basically saying, I'm going to do it in my own time. Thank you very much. I don't want to race. I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> I can go just as fast as I like. And that happens to be quite slow. Come on, Mittens. Come on to the other side. Um... And the only fish I have is Timothy, and I don't want to give Timothy away. Come on, Mittens, you can follow me. Come on, come on, Mittens, come on around here. You're so close now, Mittens, you're so close. And here she goes. Now she's going, nope, she's just playing in the, the tunnel. I think we might be about to have what will be the slowest time ever. We'll give her a little bit of a nudge. She needs a, <laughs> a little bit of encouragement. Maybe she was uh, scared of all of the, the sounds of the uh, the um, uh, the uh, the fences flapping up and down. Oh, here she goes. She's coming now. Almost here, the home stretch. Oh, careful. Careful mittens, careful, and across the finish line. Oh no, come on mittens, one block forward. One block forward mittens, come on, you're just looking at the finish line. Come on, you're so close. Don't be scared, Mittens. Come on. This way, Mittens. Come on. <laughs> if Duncan was here, I know she'd have ran straight to the finish line. No, that's the wrong way, Mittens. That's the wrong way. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. No, so close. So close. You can do it, Mittens. And across the finish line in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. That was, um... That was a very good effort. A very good effort, Mittens. Even though you're not a dog, <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, put your, your time up anyway because you tried uh, very, very hard. So let's go and uh, put Mittens' name up here. And uh, let's go and uh, put down her score, uh, which was, of course, uh, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So um, it wasn't the, the fastest time. And if I'm honest, it was actually the, the slowest time. But it doesn't matter, Mittens. You tried really hard and you looked really good doing it. <laughs> and I'm sure Duncan would be proud. What did Duncan do? Duncan did it in a, in four. 47 seconds. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we have just about run out of time in uh, this episode here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed seeing the uh, the much bigger uh, race to the uh, the doghouse. Uh, I certainly had uh, a lot of fun doing it, uh, even though it was uh, a little bit traumatic uh, towards the end. So <laughs> I would just say thank you very much, Lieber, uh, for joining me and uh, being such a, a good competitor in the race and uh, in all of the, the races to the, the doghouses, actually. Uh, every single one me and Lieber have uh, done together. And uh, a big uh, congratulations to Luna and Mittens uh, for uh, uh, their amazing effort in the, uh, the top poor assault course. Uh, but as I said, uh, that's the end of this episode here. There'll be a new episode of My Lovely World up very soon, so you can uh, check the description if you wanted uh, to see that. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!